In this video presentation, we'll be covering rich media segments that are available within VBI streams. We're continuing from where the previous video presentation left off. Just to recap the previous lesson, we logged into BBI Streams and accessed the administration interface where you can search for the Adult Faith Online courses and find a template for your course that you can modify and append to to create your course. We created a lesson making use of standard text, reading and activity segments and we shuffled and relocated the segments to edit the flow of the lesson and previewed the lessons to visualize the student's view. Remember that you can access the different levels of the course by using the navigation bar at the top of the window. Click on the module title to return to the module level. We'll be creating a new lesson that will accommodate the rich media segments along with the standard segments that we now know how to use. I'll quickly create a standard text segment, a reading segment and an activity segment. Remember to always provide a descriptive title and an introduction to the task in the segment text content field. Remember also to save your changes regularly and preview the lesson as it is taking shape. The first rich media segment we will explore is the presentation. If you have a narrated PowerPoint presentation, we can make it available for students to view so that the slides are transitioning whilst you are speaking to them. The slides and the audio can be sent to BBI for assembling in your creation of the course. What you will be adding to your lesson is a placeholder for us to know where to put the final presentation. To add a rich media presentation, select rich media presentation in the add segment drop down selection and click on go. In the same way you place a title for the standard segments, remember to place a descriptive title for the rich media presentation. In the segment lead in text content, write directions for course participants to view the presentation and highlight the objectives in completing the task. The parameters field in the multi-video player checkbox is where BBI places file and media information once the file has been assembled and uploaded. You won't have to worry about these and you can leave them blank. You won't be able to see the finished product of these rich media segments until we fill these in for each of them. In effect, you're getting a structural preview. The segment leadout text is where you, as the course author, can credit any sources and references that have been used in the presentation. It is important that none of the material in your presentation is in breach of copyright laws and legislation. Remember to save your changes and preview the lessons as you go along. The audio and PowerPoint can then be sent to BBI if you are able to record it in good quality. Send these on a data CD. Rich media video segments are for video snippets that are permitted for educational redistribution. These are for the excerpts of educational DVDs that present a course topic. Using external video references is good use of supporting material in varying the learning activities. To add a rich media video, select rich media video in the add segment drop down and click on go. Place a descriptive title for this rich media segment. In the segment lead in text content, Write directions for course participants 
to view the video excerpt and highlight the key items to pay attention to in viewing the video. You will need to check the Bishop David Walker Library if we are able to source the DVD title that the clip is to be extracted from. Otherwise, you can send the video clip to BBI and have it encoded and uploaded for BBI streams. Leave the parameters field and multi-video player checkbox as they are. The segment leadout text is where you as the course author can credit any sources and references that have been used in the video presentation. Remember to save your changes and if you can, preview the lesson as you are going along. Lastly, rich media audio segments are for learning activities of standalone audio. Course writers often have an audio section to welcome the students into the course. It creates a conversational environment where the dialogue starts by welcoming and encouraging participation inside of the learning environment. To add a rich media audio, select rich media audio in the add segment drop down and click on go. Place a descriptive title for this rich media segment. In the segment lead in text content, write directions for course participants to listen to the presentation, paying particular attention to items that need highlighting. You will have to send a good quality copy of the audio to BBI, otherwise you can have the recording done at BBI if you are able to come to the Pennant Hills office. Leave the parameters field and the multi video player checkbox as they are. The segment lead out text is where you as the course author can credit any sources and references that have been used in the recording. Keep in mind not to breach any copyright laws and legislation. Remember to save your changes and preview the lesson as you go along. In previewing this course, you will see the empty frames that will eventually have the narrated presentation, video clip and audio clip. What you are able to see are the controls that each segment has available to the user. Now you are ready to make use of the rich media segments in BBI streams. You can also have a look at one of the existing courses that have already been completed for Adult Faith Online. We can close off the course edit window for your course and go back to the courseware admin screen where there is a listing of Adult Faith Online courses. Entering the Spirituality for Today course that has been completed by Carmel Davis, click on the first module that is given the same name as the course and preview the first lesson. You are able to see that the lesson is made up of activity segments, reading segments, standard text segments and a rich media audio segment. If we look at yet another lesson, we are able to see the use of only standard text, reading segments and activity segments. Looking at the lesson in closer detail, we can see that there is something different about the standard text segments at the beginning of the lesson. In previewing the lesson, we can see a YouTube clip being embedded into the body of the lesson. We'll cover that in another lesson. We hope you've enjoyed this media presentation and we'll see you in the next one.